foreign aid madness African leader given pound 1 billion of aid by Britain buys 7 million pounds private jet. Mozambique's head of state Philip Nusi, 58, has already taken to the skies in the executive aircraft to attend the inauguration of Zimbabwe's new president last month. The revelation sparked fresh calls to scrap Britain's crazy foreign aid policy. Last year Britain sent pound 13.4 billion overseas under the government's controversial target of spending 0.7% of national income. Mozambique, where two-thirds of the population earn less than one pound a day, has been handed one billion pounds by Britain over the past decade. Sign the petition online to stop the foreign aid madness here last year the UK suspended foreign aid to the southern African nation following a pound 1.5 billion secret loan scandal. Despite the ban Mozambique has pocketed pound 55 million of taxpayers' cash as the Department for International Development, FID, still pours millions into NGO projects there. Critics said the windfall helps free up funds for high-ranking officials to lavish on extravagant projects. Alex Wilde, research director of the Taxpayers Alliance, said, It's no coincidence that the world's poorest countries are the world's most corrupt countries. The government always tells taxpayers that their money is being spent well, but the reality is that it's very difficult to account for the billions that pour into the recipient countries. Until the government rethinks its crazy policy to spend 0.7% of national income on aid will continue to see waste. Anti-corruption campaigners revealed Mozambique's luxurious private jet was bought last month for $9.2 million with a loan from the stat-town BNI Bank, which is said to be closely linked with the finance ministry. The 14-seater Bombardier Challenger 850 is identical to the aircraft pop superstar Beyoncé bought for her rapper husband Jay-Z last year. Passengers enjoy a plush carpeted cabin with leather seats and it is said to include a generous food and drink preparation area. The respected economic and political website Africa Confidential said, commentators were amazed at the insensitivity and extravagance of the acquisition in view of the country's deep economic crisis. The 10-year-old plane is owned by Mozambique's state-owned airline, LAM. The firm denied it was for the president's exclusive use. But Mozambique analyst Nigel Morgan, of Rila Intelligent Solutions Risk Management Specialists, said, This sends out completely the wrong message to the world. LAM is in a terrible financial state, so the idea of it venturing into the executive jet market is very unlikely. One also has to ask where on earth the money is coming from.